doing another stupid cooking video again because I'm bored. I'm going to make a gluten-free cake in a mug. Every cake in a mug recipe I made or like I found on Pinterest or BuzzFeed or whatever, they're always dry, spongy grossness. So I've lost my faith in cake mug recipes. So I'm going to try this one because it's uh, gluten-free. I'm very skeptical because I think it's going to taste like shit and be spongy and dry. But I figured give it a try anyway. So you start off with one egg, which you crack. Look how proficient I am doing this one-handedly. Make sure there's no shell, which I filled exponentially at that. All right. So you can't see it because this mug is maroon. I am beating the egg before I add the other ingredients. It's important to beat the egg very well or else it's you're going to have a very like gross cake texture. All right, this is rice flour. I actually got this at the Mexican store by my house and it's actually really cheap because I and I do use it a lot for smoothies and whatnot. Oops. I'm going to try to do that one. So we're going to add one. It's hard doing it one hand and when the lid won't freaking cooperate. Oh, now you do. Two. Three tablespoons of rice flour. Get that in there. You don't have to mix it yet until you put all the ingredients. Okay. We'll put you away. Followed by two tablespoons of applesauce. I use applesauce in place of like oil and butter for a lot of my cooking because it's healthier. Get that in there. You just plop it in there like so in your little mug. I'm going to put that away with my eggs. Okay, next. This is harder than I thought to do this one handed. We're going to put in a half a teaspoon. You see me doing it on the side, right there, of baking powder. Still don't have any faith that this is going to taste good. Gross. Three drops two, three, of vanilla extract. And this is cane sugar. You can put one and a half to two tablespoons. I'm eyeballing it, but if you're not confident in your eyeballing abilities, I would suggest that you use an actual spoon instead of just eyeballing it like I'm doing it. Okay, see all that's in there? Now we're going to mix it thoroughly. This is harder than I thought to do one-handedly. So far, it just looks like a glob of disgustingness. As you can see, I am mixing it. You want to make sure you mix it thoroughly to avoid lumps and pockets of flour and other stuff. It's hard to do this one-handed it's moving around so far it's not looking good I found this recipe online for gluten-free cake mugs I just found the first one that I that came up I don't have any faith that it's going to be any good because every cake mug recipe I've tried they are always disgusting so, okay, we got that mixed thoroughly. All right, put that down. And then... Da -da 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 -da. 
my big ass old microwave from like the 90s. You're gonna cook it on a minute 40. Well, it just decided to do one minute on me. Stupid microwave. But you're gonna cook it on a minute 40, so after the minute mark, I am going to put it for 40 seconds. But I do like having a piece of cake once in a while. I'm not really into sweet stuff. Let's walk over here and clean up this mess. So that's cooking, you can clean up your mess and it's how you prevent kitchen like messiness. One thing that irks me is a messy kitchen. It bothers me to the core. And then like the thought of people making food, put me back in their messy kitchen. Just like, it always grosses me out. That's why whenever I go to like a potluck and stuff, unless it's for my family. Huh. Magnets. Okay. Time. Time. Stop. Stop. Time cook. 40 seconds start. Oh, it already kind of rose up. You can see it in there, but it's said to cook a minute 40. And I'm all for following directions. This is a poorly constructed video, by the way. But anyway, back to my many obsessive compulsive traits. I also get a tour of my kitchen and how I live and the inner workings of me. But unless a potluck's for my family, every time like my church would have one, I'd avoid like the homemade food because I can just imagine somebody in their filthy kitchen in their underwear cooking food and not washing their hands. And the thought always kind of made me mom. All right. I need to clean my microwave. I never clean my microwave hardly ever because I never use it. I think the last time I used it was to heat up coffee when I went out to swap a rama. But here's the cake. It's, well, deflated. Doesn't look really good. All right. Give it a taste, which I can't, it's very spongy. I can't get it out one-handed. All right, let me give it a taste. Ew. Yeah, it tastes like disappointment and vanilla. It's not really a buy spoon. It's dry, spongy, like all cake mug recipes. And the texture, definitely in part with that. And the taste. It tastes like gritty rice flour, vanilla. What else? Pretty much that and dry disappointment. So, gluten-free cake in a mug. It's disgusting, like all cake mug recipes. I just recommend buying a cake slice, making a whole cake. Or just not making cake mugs. It's a fad that needs to die. Bye.